Good day. Now I've been uh, seeing a lot of these cartoon paint jobs around. Uh, first saw it on a on a real car. Uh, it looked very good. And then I see a lot of uh, a lot of the RC modelers and stuff are uh, you know doing the same thing. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a crack, see how it goes. I had a couple of spare bodies in the shed, so thought I'd give them a go. And uh, yeah, I don't actually have a, a chassis to put them on. I actually bought, I've got this body and another body. I uh, bought them probably 15 years ago. And at the time I had a couple of Yokomo cars that I planned on running around the track. Um, so I just wanted better bodies. I think one had a Supra body, one had a Skyline body, whatever. Anyway, I figured I'd go for the... Uh, the Dodge Stratus body. Apparently got the good aerodynamics and all that. Anyway, all that stuff aside, the cartoon job. Um, yeah, figured it was time to give it a bit of a crack and something I thought I'd do a little bit different to most other people I've seen. They usually paint the windows black uh, or leave them clear. Um, so I figure I'd, you know, paint the windows as well and make it look like it's been drawn. Uh, you know, kind of the whole idea is to make it look like somebody drew it, like a cartoon. So that's the, uh, that's what I came up with. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, just nothing to put it on. I've got a couple of Tamiya chassis and stuff, um, but they're only 185 mil. So then you've got to play around with the wheels a little bit. These bodies are 190 mil. Um, so I've only got either Tamiya's at 185mm or a Nitro at 200mm uh, <laughs> so yeah in the future I'll get a chassis actually I might have one forget I said that it's somewhere in the shed <laughs> um, anyway so I'll take you through the process very long well, it's kind of a long video but not really a long process I guess um, yeah around half an hour um, probably took me two days to do it by the time you factor in the paint drying and things like that. Um, yeah, I think it came up pretty good. See the front of it there? Yeah. Alrighty, we'll get into it. So the first thing I did was wash the body and trim it all up. And I've got some decals there, but I'm not going to use them. So the paint we're using, the paint pens, are the uh, Uni Posca pens. And I'll be using the Proline paint for the airbrush. Alrighty, so I've gone around and uh, pushed down all the edges of the, the window mask, make sure they're all good. Um, so now the first thing I'll do is go around the edges uh, with a black pen to make the outline of the windows. Now please excuse the camera angle here, all you're looking at is my hand, but I'll fix that up in a minute. Trying to keep most of it on the Lexan, of course, you know, not much point putting it all over the mask. <laughs> and of course, it's a drawing, so it doesn't have to be too neat. I guess you want it reasonably neat, you don't want it too, too bad, you know, but yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not really going for, you know, precision here. So that's it, that's our first window done. Uh, as you can see, it's bled under the, still bled under there anyway. That's all right. We can clean it up really easy. This stuff just almost, pretty much just wipes off. Maybe a bit of water or a bit of a uh, little bit of thinners will take it off. All right, so that's the windows done. I haven't cleaned anything up yet. I'll clean that up when I pull the the the, uh, the masking off there. But as you can see, it's very rough. You don't want it, you know with uh, laser precision otherwise it won't really look like a drawing uh, mine's probably one of the roughest ones i've seen actually it's uh, kind of like scribble as you can see around the top of the window and all that it's pretty rough <laughs> but i think that's what it's all about it should just kind of look like a rough sketch so now what you want to do is go around and do all the body lines you know, like uh, Randy Dawes, things like that. Um, yeah. Remember, it's supposed to be like a drawing. I'm going to find a good way of doing this. <laughs> Oh, 
And because of my wiggly hands, the uh, the lines are kind of wiggly too. So they're a little bit fatter than they need to be. But that's all right. Now you might be wondering about this green towel I've got here. Uh, well, the bench is too slippery to, to move a body around on, you know, on its own. And I find the pit mats are uh, very grippy, so it's one extreme or another. The towel seems to work quite fine. Although it is a, bit, it is a little bit hard to see the uh, body lines at times. One trick you can do there is go around the outside with a black pen first and mark all your lines. I didn't bother. Yeah, I think they're quite wide enough. <clears throat> now these doors, the door line at the back is really hard to see. So I might exactly, uh, I might actually do exactly that. Just using an ordinary black texter or sharpie, whatever you want to call it. I'll just go over the outside where I can see it. Something like that. I'll do the other side while I'm here. Just like that. Then we can come in, come back in with our paint pen. Yep, it's all about seeing those lines. <laughs> In the case of this front one here, I couldn't really see the middle of it. Uh, I could see this end and I could see that end, so I just kind of marked them and join it up in the middle. That'll be close enough. And it'll look something like that. So we need to get uh, to the boot line or the trunk line, depending what country you're in. Uh, and again, the bonnet line or the hood line, depending what country you're in. Yep, that line was uh, rough as guts. <laughs> now what I've done here, I've gone around all the, all the uh, fenders or guards, just with the, uh, the light pen on the outside. Um, yeah, just to mark the outline of it there. And uh, like here where it disappears into the, into the quarter panel, I've just kind of, I plan to kind of fade that in or something. I'm not really sure there. Um, yeah, same on both sides. Now, I'll probably bring this line straight down here, not across. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, this stuff's pretty easy to scratch off, so, you know, if I find something I don't like, I can just scra scrape it off later. Now, as you can see, we've got the body lines on there. I'm thinking all of them are on there, but I might have missed some. I'll find out along the way. Uh, I'll have to draw these in, I think, the grill mesh basically, but I won't be uh, too tidy about it, I'll just, uh, you know, do them basically like the headlights, pretty rough. So yeah, looking something like that, got the tail lights in there with the uh, little reverse lights in there. I basically just kind of copied the, uh, the stickers, you know, they kind of go like that. I could have used them, they kind of look cartoony, but nah, I didn't want to. I'll just do it all by hand. <laughs> now you got a little rego plate on there. Woohoo! So, yeah, I'll get this uh, grill drawn in and uh, 
then it'll be time to do some colors in the lights and things like that i'll probably just use white maybe a bit of orange over here and read in the tail lights of course so basically all we need in here is like a cross hatch or a, a honeycomb shape i guess I think I'll go cross hatch. Yes, very rough. <laughs> and there we go, something like that. <laughs> Just coming in with a bit of white so i've done in in the uh, headlight parts there but i'm thinking around the edge here i'll go orange in there but around here i might go silver but we'll get the we'll get the white on this side and see how it looks and we've also got to do these uh, little guys down the bottom here Same on the other side. There we go. Pretty close, I think. All right, now for a bit of silver. Now the silver I find I've got to dab it on, otherwise it kind of goes streaky and yeah, it's not real good to work with compared to the standard colours. Oh, I messed that up good and proper. I was meant to do orange in there. <laughs> oh well. Might wipe that off or something and replace it with um, orange. You saw it here, almost live. It's not really live, but might as well be. <laughs> Mistakes all the time. <laughs> okay. Got our silver in there. Still a few gaps that need looking at. <laughs> I'll have to hold it up to the light for that. As you can see, I've done the white in the reverse light there, each side. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, but I need red in there, and that's the only place I need it is those two sides. So I'm going to use some airbrush uh, Proline red there, but I'm just going to brush it on. There's not really much point firing up the airbrush just for that. Um, but one thing we'll see is when I paint over these uh, the black pen marks, see if it actually dissolves them and, you know, turns to mush. All right, so here we go. As you can see there, I put it on quite thick. Oh, bit of red got outside there, but doesn't matter. It's a cartoon, right? And again, outside the black. That'll be alright though, I can just scratch it off. So here we go. Yeah, it's not perfect, I missed a couple of bits there. I'll give it another crack. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Something like that. So I've got the tail lights kind of fixed there and uh, looking okay. And got the number plate done. It's not the best, but hey, it's a cartoon. <laughs> and I fixed the indicator. I think it was this side. Didn't get all the silver off, but I wasn't too worried about it. I think it might actually look a little bit better than the other side. <laughs> 
I don't know. But I'll put some uh, silver behind this uh, grill. And again, I'll use the uh, Proline airbrush paint. But I'll just use it on the brush. So I'll get some of that on there. Actually quite a lot. <laughs> and just kind of stick it in there. Certainly saves, you know, masking and all of that just to squirt a little bit in the uh, grill area. And you'll notice here I'm not really uh, brushing it, so to speak. Uh, trying not to anyway. Um, kind of more dabbing it on, you know, in case it uh, in case it loosens the black underneath, you know, it might just smear it across the front of the car. I don't want that. I'll have a look at that. Yeah, it did smear a lot of it. Uh, I think it'll be alright. Can even fill that in uh, on the outside of the paint. When, when we take the, the film off, you'll probably go over it again with a few lines. It wouldn't matter too much. But I think I'll leave that how it is. Alright, once you're happy with all the, all the lines and stuff, I'm pretty happy with the, the body lines there now. I think it looks okay. Um, so now it's time to go around and do some uh, lines, basic, just basic lines here and there, just to kind of accentuate the, the shape of the body and so on. Uh, not sure how good I'm going to go at this, but, you know, first crack, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Now a lot of people, uh, you know, will bring some lines in from the back of the boot lid or, or the, the bonnet or wh whatever end of the car you're at and so on and yeah, anyway, we'll get into it and see what happens. Now what I'm doing here, I'm going to go a small black line and a long, long black line, but in the middle I'll go a white line because uh, that's right on the... Uh, where the door sort of rolls over um, so it'll be like a fake reflection that the uh, white line in the middle and you want to try and get your lines you know pretty parallel so I'll hit it with a bit of white now all right there you go hope you can see that one on the back door is a little bit heavy we'll show a bit of like that <laughs> But yeah, basically I'm trying to see where the light's hitting it and, you know, put some white lines along there, things like that. And I can see here right now, I missed the whole body line down this edge of the guard and right up over the roof. So I'll have to do them now. There you go, I missed quite a few lines. I missed the ones up the bonnet here. And uh, missed a few around the front here. A uh, couple under the headlights and stuff. Probably didn't need that little one in the corner, but whatever. And yeah, the two lines going uh, up over the top. And I also missed the ones around the bottom of the uh, rear pillar. <laughs> anyway, so we get back onto our, um, onto our lines there and go from there. So you've got some more lines in here, you know, a few around the corners to kind of accentuate the corners. Um, yeah, just going pretty random with it. I'm not going to go too over the top with the lines and stuff, I don't think. Well, that's it. That's as, uh, as much as I'm probably going to do on it. Unless I think of something special along the way. So I think we're just about ready for colour. Well, yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it looks okay. Not too bad, I don't think. As I say, it is only a cartoon thing, and it's meant to be pretty rough. All right, we'll get into the color. All right, so now we can start with the first layers of color, and I'm going to go orange around the outside, kind of fade it into yellow in the middle. 
I think that might be a good plan. I actually saw one done that way and thought it was quite good. Anyway, we'll hit it. Something like that. <laughs> Anyway, you get the idea. So I'll hit this and then I'll, I'll get the yellow in there a bit, a bit later, let this dry, and then get onto the body. All right, there's our uh, orange on there. Now on the side here, because I'm painting on the outside, I'm gonna have to do those lines again once I finish painting, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. Anyway, there's our orange on the body. And it's kind of starting to look like a cartoon now. Looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, the front's acceptable. She'll be alright, mate. But yeah, I'll get some uh, yellow behind it. And that should make a pop. And then I'll be ready for the uh, time to do the windows. And there it is with the yellow one. Looking pretty good, I think. Wings painted on the back, of course. So there you go. All right, so I've done a quick coat of white in there just to seal off the yellow and orange a little bit better. And taking the window masks off. So next I'll uh, do the window frames in here, make them black, things like that. I'm not sure if I'll put a, a banner thing across the front there or not. Maybe not. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to hit those uh, the windows with a very pale blue, basically so it looks like the glass has been drawn there. It kind of like that blue actually. <laughs> now on the rear wing, done the, uh, again, did a white coat, and then uh, some yellow, and then some orange. Then I'll have to come around later and do the black lines around the edges and stuff like that. Now, as you can see here, I've gone around and done all the uh, the black lines and things, all on the on the wing, across the back, did the white lines. So there, looks the same both sides now. It's not shiny on the back, of course, or the sides. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll go over with gloss, uh, or I was thinking of going matte finish right the way over the car because um, it's a cartoon it shouldn't be shiny and we've uh, we're basically drawn the shiny marks in with the white <laughs> so that'll be something I'm not really sure if I'll do it or not anyway we'll get onto the uh, the windows I'll put some white lines in there and a couple of black ones I guess and uh, then hit them with blue Then yeah, you're just doing a couple of random, you know, lines around the corners and stuff, kind of, uh, kind of just to, you know, bring out the shape of the windows and stuff. Something like that. Again, probably try not to go overboard with those. All right, so I think I might have gone a bit overboard with the windows, but you know, it'll be right. So that's the front window, down the side. I tried to make it look like the, the reflections following the window there. But uh, yeah, a couple of windows I reckon I went a bit overboard. The yeah, back one's not too bad, I guess. And the other side. I think this side might be better than the other side, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll hit it with some blue. And that's the blue I wanted, very pale. So I used, uh, you know, quite a bit of white and just one drop of blue and a bit of reducer. And we'll see how that looks.
Now my plan is just to get it on, uh, you know, nice and even, and then I'll back it with white. But I just want a very pale blue. I might add, while it's still kind of transparent, I might add a bit of darker blue and go around the edges a, a little bit. Probably should have done that first, but whatever. So what I think I'll do here, go around the top with the light stuff. I've basically done the light, light blue all over, but I'll concentrate on the top, get the uh, get it nice and light up there, and I'll back it with a, um, a dark blue at the bottom, and it might give us a bit of a fade there. As you can see here, so when I hit it with a bit of darker behind, that should show up nicely. But it won't be too uh, too over the top. <clears throat> so there we go, something like that. I might even out the uh, the front and the rear windows, bring the line straight across, or a little bit more at least on the front. Yeah, there we go now hit it with a bit of blue behind and then a bit of white over the whole thing and we'll be done alrighty get the blue in there so it's nice and dark got a tiny bit of reducer in there but not much crank the pressure up of course So it's going to look something like that. So something like that. Might get in there a little bit more, I think, on the corners. So that's it. Now I'll let it, uh, let it dry a bit and I'll go over the whole body with white on the inside. It'll make the windows pop a little bit more. And remember it's still got the film on it so the windows will pop a little bit when it comes off. <clears throat> Not that I want it popping too much because it's meant to be a cartoon. <laughs> but I think we're getting there. I think it's actually working. And there's our last coat, the, uh, the white. Could have been a little bit thicker, but I think it looks quite fine. Covers it nicely. Now I can pull the film off and check out those colours pop. They're already popping already. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all finished. I hope you got something out of the video. I hope it helped you if, if you plan on uh, painting a body for yourself. Um, yeah, that's it. It's all done. Now you might not notice. The, the wing isn't very shiny at the back, it, it is a little bit, but um, you know, because I've painted it underneath and around the sides, so the top now is shiny, but it's all matte finish around the back. So I just grabbed a little bit of uh, Tamiya Clear uh, for polycarb paint, the PS. It was actually the, uh, the clear pearl, so I only put one coat on, because I didn't want the pearl to show up too much. But uh, yeah, if I had have had the, um, there is a Tamiya Matte Clear uh, for polycarb, or well, it's a PS for polycarb paint. Um, I would have painted the whole lot because um, I believe it should actually be a matte finish, not, it shouldn't be shiny. <laughs> and in my case where I've done the windows, even the windows shouldn't be shiny. Um, the only other thing I had, I can't remember the name of it, I do have a, a matte, um, like a varnish it's really for static models 
didn't want to risk it. I, didn't, I just didn't want to ruin it, you know, at this stage. So a little bit later, I'll probably get some of that um, Tamiya PS paint and uh, in the clear and just go over it, just quick blow over, just to take the shine off. So yeah, as you can see, the, the wing's not not really a matte finish at the back anymore. It's not super shiny either, but yeah, you could really tell when it was a matte finish. So anyway, that's how it looks without the uh, the film on. I think it came up pretty good. Yeah, so if you plan on doing this yourself, it's not very hard. It's it's quite easy. It helps if you've got an airbrush so you can do the shading around the edges, of course. Otherwise, you're just going to be left with flat colours, basically. Um, but I have seen plenty where they, uh, where they have no shading and they look quite fine. Alright, well, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumb up. That'd be great. If you're new here, subscribe. That'd be awesome. And catch you later.